already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Ten of Wands, and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, the t with the Ten of Wands showing up, you could have felt as though you were carrying a heavy burden. You may, you may have needed to look hard at this and see if there were any ways that you could have lightened your load, either literally or figuratively. And I say this because if you, if you took a careful look, you probably would have found out that part of the burden that you were carrying, it actually belonged to someone else. So it would have been important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now, it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, this Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, healing, supportive type of energy. Um, she'll usually indicate a woman or a person in your life that would be very helpful to you. This queen, it reminds us to bring love, compassion to our world, and that's even possible. Even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So, it's a reminder to bring compassion to your work also. Um, things are probably better in your world when you get this queen of cups in a reading more so than you're realizing. Yeah, this Queen of Cups, like I said, a very nurturing, healing, supportive type of energy. Just know whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. Yeah, it's all about love, kindness, compassion. Um, yeah, so this recent past energy, Ten of Wands, Clarified by this Queen of Cups for you and your person. So what I'm getting, Aquarius, is that you had a, you had a lot of love for this person that you're dealing with. A lot of love with the Queen of Cups. You felt like you could fix fix this person if they had problems or if they had issues. You felt you felt like you could heal any situation. Or problem that came up between the two of you. But for some reason, you felt like you were giving, you could have felt like you were giving too much of your emotional energy to this person or to the connection. Or you could have started to feel like um, this person was too much. They sucked the life out of you. The relationship became really difficult. Yeah, because if you look at the Ten of Wands, it's the card above the word past. This man, it looks like he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So yeah, maybe you just tried to take on too much. Maybe you thought that you could just be everything in this connection. And it just started to feel difficult. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Eight of Cups, and it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups, it often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but this separation, it's in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Yeah, instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Very often, one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now, it's with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun when this card appears. It can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said 
The one thing I've learned over, over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. So coming up, Aquarius, Eight of Cups clarified by this Page of Cups. So what I'm picking up on is that, yeah, you could be thinking about walking away, walking away from this connection and just leaving it all behind. Because the Eight of Cups, that's what it means. Abandonment, moving on. Just leaving it behind, feeling like things have gone sour. You could also be feeling like your person is not taking this connection serious enough. They're just in it to have a good time. Or you feel like that's all they do is goof off or they just, they're into just having fun. Or they could be the type that just like to hang out with their friends. Yeah, because if you look at the Page of Cups, the card below the word present, that's what they're doing. There's three people, they're out at the park, they're halfway naked, they're turning up the bottle. So you could... Yeah, you could be thinking about walking away from this. You want your person to take this connection more serious. Yeah. And you just feel like you take on all the the burdens of the connection. So, for some of you, the, you feel like things are going sour. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got the Magician. And it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now this magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It also reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know you're not going to have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the plate. You have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it, if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, to the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, it's actually a really, really good energy in the tarot. It's about stability. It's about commitment. It's about loyalty. Um, solid and stable. Yeah, this Knight of Pentacles can be your knight in shining armor. Yeah, very practical and patient type of energy here. Um, it can be a message bearer. Someone's wanting to reach out. So your challenge, Aquarius, magician clarified by this Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, what I'm getting here is that your person... Um, they see or they feel that you're ready to to move on without them. Maybe you've told maybe you you've already told them this and here they come. They're trying they they want to talk to you, the Knight of Pentacles. They wanna let you know that um they want a new beginning with you, Aquarius. Or they wanna to try to make this a fresh new start. Yeah. And they're, they're reaching out to you as a, as the Knight of Pentacles does. They could be telling you that they want, they want to try to become more stable and solid and more committed and more loyal and more all the things that you've pro probably been wanting to hear. So, yeah, I'm getting for a lot of you, they, they really do want to try. They've got the wand, the magician's wand in their hand. So, they could really be trying to manifest a new fresh start with you. And they see that you're, you're about out, you're about out the door. So here they come. Um, it's telling you what you want to hear. For most of you, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear about them taking things more serious. Because the Knight of Pentacles is doesn't really play like that. They're far from the Page of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles is practical, good with their money, 
when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. So this is a solid, stable type of energy. And this is what they're um, letting you know that that's what they're ready to bring to the table. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you, Aquarius. They don't want you to walk away. But let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this Nine of Wands, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, the first and the best step is often to take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so, because at least some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So try to get specific on what you're afraid of and, and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening? So, it's with this Wheel of Fortune. Well, this is a card that actually reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, well, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now. Count your blessings and just realize that much of life is actually outside of our control. But even that's okay. Just roll with the changes. So your outcome, Aquarius, Nine of Wands, clarified by the Will of Fortune. So yeah, for a lot of you, Aquarius, even though your person is reaching out to you, um, trying to let you know that they, they want a fresh new start, they want to um, be more, be more what, what they think that you want. But um, it looks like you, you're you just ready to, for right now, you're closing yourself off to this. Because the Nine of Wands, the card above the word outcome. Yeah, it's like this person, you see this lady, she's caged herself in with all these wands. And she's not letting anyone pass her barricade. And you're not budging, you're just... Yeah, you're closing yourself off to this. A lot of you are. Some of you are. Um, with the Will of Fortune here, it's indicating that you feel like you'll have better luck elsewhere. Yeah, because the Will of Fortune, when it shows up in a reading, it indicates good fortune. It indicates a turning point. It indicates um, fortune is in your favor. And you just feel like You'd be fortunate elsewhere. So, for now, it looks like you're closing yourself off to it. You feel like you'd, you'd do better. Or you could you could be feeling like you could have better luck with someone else that you know. Yeah, that's how you're feeling. You're feeling lucky at this time. So you're closing your person off to their offer. And for some of you, you don't believe what they're saying. So, you just think you'll be lucky elsewhere. So that's the reading that I have for your Aquarius. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season and with all the crazy in the news. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get my readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. A family member, maybe a co-worker, or even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because 
once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aquarius, I just want to say, um, uh, make sure you look for my next videos. Um, they'll be about Aquarius love readings for February, Aquarius 2021. Um, I'll also do some videos about tarot readings online, Aquarius moon, Aquarius traits, Aquarius celebrities. I'll be doing some love reading book quotes. I'll also talk about psychic meaning and um, psychics online. So, yeah, so please uh, come back, check out my next videos. Um, I can never say it enough, Aquarius. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm hoping that you have a great day. I'm hoping to see you at the next reading. And take care.